und somit kriegst du zurück zu Gran Turismo 7. Ich habe unten auf der Hauptseite eine Playlist, wo das Spiel schon drinnen ist, unter dem unter der Rubrik in ferner Zukunft. Ähm, die Zukunft wird ein bisschen näher rücken, haben in den letzten Tagen dazu aufgerafft, ein klein wenig zu spielen. Das Problem an Gran Turismo 7, es ist durchzogen von Grind und sinnlosen Dingen wie äh, sparsam fahren, ähm, ein Rennen gegen 5, 4, äh, 500 Fiat Abad zu bestellen zu, äh, ja, es ist so viel unnützer Scheiß drinnen. Ähm, den unnützen Scheiß will ich dir aber nicht antun. Ich möchte mich im Laufe der kommenden Zeit, wenn ich Gran Turismo spiele und euch dann zeige, auf folgendes konzentrieren. Kurz und schmerzlos, ähm, ich werde einfach jetzt einmal ein paar Minuten was einblenden und das darfst genießen. Und dann komme ich nochmal zurück und rede nochmal über das, was ich vorhabe. Bis gleich! Beautiful Spa Francorchamps bathed in sunshine, ready for the start of the Total Energy Six Hours of Spa Round Two of the FIA World Endurance Championship with a huge crowd in attendance and huge anticipation. This track always produces something special. And first of all, it produced an American team on the outright pole position. Glickenhaus topping qualifying and leading the field away. Olivier Pla holding the lead under challenge from the Alpine of Andre Negrau. But trouble for the 91 Porsche that had qualified on pole, got hit by the 92 car, lost a tire on the very first corner. They were out of contention from there on in. Well, a safety car came out on lap one. Klickenhaus led, but by the end of the first hour, Toyota were all over them. First, Sebastian Buemi going through, and then before the end of the same lap, Mike Conway going inside, outside, and around the houses to take second place away from Olivier Pla. Trouble was in store, though, for Miro Konopka. The ARC Bratislava car spat off the curbs and hard into the barriers. Driver OK, car wrecked. Safety car led to red flag because of rain and the need to rescue the Bratislava car. At the first restart, the number eight Toyota decided it had not uh, had enough of the day and parked itself. Another red flag, more wet weather. Then back to green flag conditions. The race leader was WRT. Trouble again bringing out full course yellow and where that ends up for Alex Brundle, it meant the barriers for the Inter-Europol car, and again, another red flag for weather. Back to racing once more. The track starting to dry a little. Toyota coming through to take the lead from WRT. The LMP2 leader then passed by the Glickenhaus that moved up to second place, and finally by the Alpine to make itself up to third. And Sebastian Bourdais, one of those to find the gravel in tricky conditions. Not the only one, though. Prema car going off the road and into the barriers, and that would need a trip to the pit lane. And as the conditions started to improve, Simon Mann's Ferrari dropping into the gravel, forcing another full course yellow for rescue. Not the only one to have problems. Jonathan Aberdyne putting the 28 Jota car into the barriers. He got it back to the pits, but it would never leave again. And then the final caution just before the final 20 minutes. Brendan Ereeb for inception. Our class winners under real pressure from two Aston Martins. Harry Tinknell for Dempsey Proton under massive pressure for half an hour from the Porsche. It was the Ferrari of James Collado who took the flag. WRT going 1-2. Rene Rast claiming victory in LMP2. And the number seven Toyota, Jose Maria Lopez, took it to the flag at the head of the field. Toyota's seventh win at Spa, their sixth in succession. 
winners of the 11th FIA World Endurance Championship race at Spa-Francorchamps Toyota, their sixth consecutive win. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at Le Mans. <laughs>